Chloe Swarbrick. To the Prime Minister, does he stand by his government's statements and actions? So in the context they were given. Does the Prime Minister believe that more coal mining and oil and gas drilling is consistent with a livable planet or meeting our climate goals, what as he point? has said that he is committed to? What well, what I just say to that member is I would encourage her to read an excellent speech given by uh, the Minister of Resources, Shane Jones, uh, in the last week. It's an absolutely thoughtful speech and it talks about the role that actually mining will play uh, in New Zealand and helping us make that transition. You know, here's the deal, every EV, every smartphone, every solar panel, every wind farm needs minerals. We can't just make them out of thin air. Is he aware that that very speech he's referencing of the Honourable Shane Jones, where he repeated the International Energy Agency's assessment that the world needs six times more rare, more rare minerals for green transition, is premised on a rapid phase-out of fossil fuels and an end to coal mining? Uh, again, what I'd say to you is, it's a very thoughtful speech, and there's no way we can deliver. There's no way we can deliver our um, our transition to a, a clean economy without minerals. If he disagrees with the International Energy Agency and the Independent Climate Change Commission and the world's top scientists that there is no future in fossil fuels or coal mining, from who is he actually getting his advice? Well, look, I think, I think the member would understand that actually mining is very important for helping us actually adopt EVs, to use smartphones, to adopt solar panels uh, and, make, and, and make sure we get wind farms. We need minerals for that process and that transition. The Honourable David Seymour. Does the Prime Minister have any advice for people who say they are opposed to mining but live a luxuriant lifestyle thanks to the benefit of it every single day of their life? <laughs> well, I just encourage uh, all leaders of political parties here in this House to support the oil and gas ban reversal and also support the fast track uh, legislation that's going through the House. Supplementary. Does he agree with Standard & Poor's that, quote, unabated mines face the risk of becoming stranded assets as the global economy works towards decarbonisation, end quote, and his idea of, quote, a modern, reliable infrastructure in New Zealand, end quote? Well, I certainly agree with the last part of that question, which is I do want to see a modern, reliable infrastructure emerge here in New Zealand. That's why, again, I keep saying to the member, I encourage her and her party to support our fast-track legislation. Does the Prime Minister think that sacrificing the habitat of the great spotted kiwi at the altar of coal mines is an accurate representation of his government's economic and environmental policies? Look, I, re I reject the premise of that question, but what I just say to that member is, look, here's the deal. We need minerals, we need critical minerals in order to make the transition to a clean future. Uh, and that's, that's all that the Minister was putting out on the table in an excellent speech last week, and I encourage all members to read it. So many questions. Mentry. Supplementary question, the Honourable David Seymour. Is the Prime Minister aware that the ability to hold up colour laser printed images all day, every day in Parliament is reliant on a vast array of materials from printer toner to the metal in the printer to the fibre optic cables that transmitted the signal? You name it, it all comes from mining. And would he, would the word come to the Prime Minister's mind, hypocritical actions. <laughs> I, I want to thank the uh, Minister for his question and just say the irony was not lost on me. Something question. Just wait a minute. Yes. Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, is the Prime Minister... Hang on, wait on. Just listen. Is the I Prime... know it's exciting. 48 hours to go. But just hold it. The right Honourable Winston Peters. Is the Prime Minister aware in terms of setting future policy, that the latest records show that the Green MPs have the highest aviation expenditure record of every part in Parliament.